Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this video, we're going to be testing Softube's latest plugin, the Weiss DS1 Mark III. The original digital hardware is a renowned device popular with Pro Mastering engineers around the world. Softube say that this is a like-for-like -like copy of the original. The code from the hardware was ported line for line, making this plugin precisely the same as the original. So not an emulation then. It's not the cheapest plugin in the world, but if you were to buy the original DS1 hardware, you would be in for an investment in the 10 grand region. So if you did have your eye on uh, the original hardware, then this plugin clone, if you will, uh, represents fairly good value for money. So what is the DS1? Well, it's a DSer, compressor and limiter unit that produces very transparent results, but it doesn't do all those three things at once. You can either use this as a DSer and limiter or compressor and limiter. Compressor settings are on the right here. We can tune our DSA frequency and bandwidth values in the middle. We have compressor settings between these two dials. So if you wanted to use this as a DSA, you would most likely use the bandpass type or high pass compressor type here. Or if you just wanted to use this as a broad brush compressor, then just enable full band type here. We can set our limiter settings to the left of this, input, gain, and output. There's another way of doing this, I'll show you in a minute. And Softube recreated the original metering from the hardware, but I've also included a new plugin exclusive waveform meter view here, which is quite nice. And here we can adjust the output of the limiter and the gain as well, which is very useful. At the bottom, we've got the internal bypass switch, AB switch for comparing different settings, monitor switch, useful for setting DS settings, side chain link, parallel compression, very useful that. So if you were getting a little bit too uh, heavy handed with compressor settings over here, just switch into parallel compression and see if that helps to make things sound a little bit more transparent. Safe limiter modes next to that, mid side processing, it's all pretty self explanatory. Got options at the top here, and there's quite a few useful things that we can do here, such as dithering, we can also switch between the original DS1 limiter or choose from two other uh, plugin exclusive uh, limiter styles here from Softube. Next page, we can adjust some uh, meter settings and a useful setting on the third page of options. It's this auto makeup here. Now we've got to set on manual, that's default. We can also set it to auto. So let's put this thing to work. Got a short example here, full band lineup. Needs a little bit of glue needs a little bit of uh, sibilance taken out the top ends as well. So I'm going to use the compressor here and I'm going to play around with the bandpass filter and then apply some limiting. So let's see what we can do. First, I'm going to put in some monitoring. You can see over here as well, it gives us a little visual representation of what we're doing here with the bandwidth and frequency controls. So Gonna make it quite a narrow band here and then sweep. There we go, something like that. Now we can adjust the threshold here on the compressor, bring this down. We can see now we're getting some uh, compression going, de-essing, let's take it out of monitoring. Bring this down till that sibilance comes down a little bit more the bandwidth. Let's just go around that again. doing what it needs to do. Now let's get some limiting going. I'm going to put this in the waveform view. Increase the gain. Bring the output down just a little bit. Back of the meters, got RMS here, and I want to get that to about minus 13. Limiter, increase the gain. Slightly. Let's try some different limited styles.
Now, I quite like type one. That sounded like it wasn't doing too much to the bottom ends. Let's do a little bit of an AB now. So let's put it in bypass, bring the output gain down a little bit so that we uh, don't have any level differences. <laughs> Now, if you like the sound of the DS1 Mark III, but it's a bit out of your budget, do check out Softube's other version of this. That's the MM1 Mastering Processor. It's a lighter version of this. You don't have the same amount of controls, features the same algorithms as this, which is the same code base from the original hardware. So you do get the same results. It's just you can't tailor the sound on a microscopic level like you can with this, the DS1 Mark III. Anyway, I hope you guys got something from this. For more information on the Softube Weiss DS1 Mark III plugin, do check out the Softube website. I'm Dan Cooper from Production Expert, and I'll see you again soon.